So this week is Android Week, like not officially, just for me. So look, before I go into more detail on that, the Outback is back on the road, which you would have seen in excess, in excess last week, because that was pretty much all I talked about for the second half of the week while we got that done. Um, Jonathan pointed out that uh, I called it the Subaru Resurrection, and it happened in three days. Now look, I'm not saying that an engine replacement is a re religious experience, uh, but yeah, that was interesting and funny. And anyway, so look, this week back to trying to launch the dot mill and uh, this week I'm trialing an Android phone. It's not my main phone, uh, I'm using it as a secondary device, but I'm going to try and do as much as possible on it. Now look, my personal smartphones have always been iPhones, well, up until, okay, look, I had an iPhone 3G, I had an iPhone 3GS, sorry, iPhone 3GS, 4S, 5S, 6S, and then I decided to try the other side, so I actually had a BlackBerry Key 1 for a year, which I really liked. Well, I really liked the keyboard and the battery life. Those things were really, really awesome. I didn't like the software, and to this day, I still really don't like the software. Uh, but my friend Dan keeps telling me that I need to try real Android and that the BlackBerry didn't count. Yeah. Apparently using it for a year wasn't enough. So, uh... This phone is a Samsung S8 Plus, Galaxy S8 Plus, I don't know what you guys call it, it's crazy, but I have one now, uh, I actually had it last week, but I was waiting for my screen protector and case to arrive because I only want to try this for a few weeks and then I'll probably sell it off anyway, because I'm fully expecting not to be uh, happy enough with this to keep it, uh, even then if I was I'd probably go for something newer anyway, but for now, this is my trial phone to try the real Android experience. So we'll see how that goes. Um, my phone, my daily phone at the moment is an iPhone 7. So yeah, neither of them are the latest and greatest phone, but at least like my phone is due to be, my phone contract, sorry, is due to be renewed at the end of the year. So I can decide either way after this. But like I said, I'm not expecting to actually change. I just want to try it. So at the end of the year when the new phone, new iPhone is announced, I will probably go with that. So we're going with that. But look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, try and take some photos. I've already posted the first photo of this phone on Instagram. And I'll try and take screenshots and whatever else. Anything photo related will go on Instagram. Um, and I will post some notes on Twitter. So I'm changing a little bit. So more content for Instagram in the form of photos as well as these videos. Um, and Twitter in the form of like text related quick note stuff if that makes sense like basically content specific for each platform but at the same time it'll probably get cross posted to Facebook as well we'll see how that goes but anyway uh, but let's go with this for today tell me what do you prefer Android or iPhone and why okay so I've covered that I obviously prefer the iPhone over the Android phones. I haven't really covered why. The main thing that it came down to really was just all the little niggly things. So I had app crashes here and there, which you know happens on both phones, but I felt it happened more on the Android phone than the Apple. Um, what else was there? There was just the way that apps mesh together. Uh, they don't seem to be all the same system on an Android, at least as far as I noticed anyway. Uh, it, so I believe that stems from your different uh, platforms, software development kits, SDKs for making apps. So different people use different SDKs, so they use different ways to call on different things like your photo gallery or your camera or whatever else or access files. So they all look a little bit different. And yeah, just because one app does it one way doesn't mean the other app's going to do it. Uh, the other thing I really didn't like was the back button back button was just really inconsistent now look i won't go in depth much more than that yet but it came down to like i use my phone a lot to do business to get back to people take photos send photos to people of parts that we have down here at the workshop scrapyard whatever you want to call it um and yes the the thing was that it started hindering me doing business i can do business faster on an iphone than on an android phone so 
that's why that's my preference. It's just, it's easier, it's more stable, and it's just that little bit more efficient. Sorry, I got interrupted because it is currently still the middle of the day. So yeah, I'm trying to get this done early so I can get word out about this experiment. So I'm gonna try this for at least a week and post back on the results. Um, we'll see how that goes. Wish me luck. Anyway, so yeah, if you like the content, please like and share. Otherwise, if you want to see more, subscribe or follow, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.